My name is Terrell Davis and I'm an Ag Agent for the University of Arkansas Division of Ag. Join me as we talk about feeding roller litter to beef cattle. One of the first questions is, is litter safe to feed? Ruminants have a unique digestive system that allows them to digest byproducts. Litter has been safely used to feed cattle for over 40 years. And broiler litter provides a good source of protein, energy, and minerals for brood cows and stalkers. There are some advantages to using broiler litter as a feed. Number one, it's economically responsible use of the byproduct. Two, it provides an incentive for the proper management of litter by poultry and cattle producers alike. And lastly, it's an economical feedstuff. Here's some regulations on feeding litter. We actually have no federal or state laws regulating feed use in Arkansas. To minimize any risk from drug residues in the tissue of beef cattle fed litter, it is recommended to discontinue feeding litter at least two weeks before slaughter and we do not feed this to lactate and dairy cattle. Some may ask about PLT or alum in the broiler litter. Well, alum binds phosphorus, and this may lead to a phosphorus deficiency in your cattle. Keep a close eye on them. PLT, or poultry litter treatment, is sodium bisulfate, which is commonly used in pet food production. There's little scientific literature on the effects of PLT However, negative effects have not been noted in the pet food industry. Now let's talk about the nutritional value of roller litter. One, remember that bedding varies, but all is very low in nutrient value. Nutrition is actually added with the feathers, wasted feed, and excrement from the birds. Always test your roller litter to know the nutrient content. We would be happy to send one off for a routine test with a UA Diagnostic Lab. The cost is $18 and each group of or stockpile of boiler litter should be tested separately. Nutrient value of boiler litter. Let's go by each nutrient. Moisture should be around 25 to 12%. We need to be as low as 25% if we're using an auger so that it uh, effect effectively goes out the auger. Less than 12% and litter becomes too dusty. It will remain uh, the same moisture for six months after we begin storing it. TDN averages about 50%. It's fairly low compared to grain. You could add some more with soybean meal or hop meal. Crude protein averages 23%. It also likely contains non-protein nitrogen in the form of uric acid. That means it should not be fed to animals under 400 pounds as their ruminant system is not ready to digest these acids. Crude fiber, or ADF, has an average of 24%. Now this is too low for daily requirements of all types of cattle, so long fiber supplementation, such as hay or cottonseed hulls, is recommended if using litter. As you process this, remember that all litter has the potential for pathogenic bacteria. We need to deep stack our litter at least six to eight feet deep. We're looking for an internal temperature of 130 to 140 degrees to kill all the bacteria. Once it goes above 140, excessive re heat does reduce the digestibility of litter. It is recommended that we have a stack time of at least three weeks or more. Make sure you store it out of the rain as moisture can really affect the temperature and the act activity within the litter and cover it with plastic to exclude oxygen. Here's our suggested rations. Corn is the preferred grain to mix with litter. Do not grind the litter as it makes it less palatable and dusty. A 70-30 litter to corn ratio is recommended for average milking cows. That's 22 pounds a day fed. A 50-50 litter corn ratio is recommended for stalkers. Feed them 3% of their body weight and you can expect an ADG of 2 pounds per day. 
Just a word of caution with hardware and minerals. Roller litter can contain pieces of metal from equipment and wires. A magnet can be used to sort this metal out, however, copper and glass would not be collected. And litter is an excellent source of minerals, in fact, it might provide excess. And excess minerals are not a problem under specific conditions. Specifically, you can have an imbalance of calcium if you have a deficiency in other minerals, which can cause milk fever. And litter does have a high copper content and is not recommended for small ruminants. Have more questions? We contact your local county extension service or look up fact sheet FSA 3061, which can be found at uaex.uada.edu or visit your local office and get a hard copy.